What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be showing you how to fix a cross-threaded thread in a head. I think I said that right. Fix a cross-threaded thread on the head. Yeah, aluminum threads are stripped or cross-threaded, whatever you want to call it. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to need is a tap and die set. Now if you walk into a garage and one someone has this open, uh, I would slowly walk away and not ask any questions because you might get thrown through the wall. We gotta figure out what size tap we need. So in order to do that we gotta figure out what size bolts we have. And one of these are good already. I already know it's metric but if you don't know uh, you can go down to a hardware store or your parts store and check the thread on their thread gauge. This, uh, I want to say it's like an M8 by like 1.5 or 125. Eh, it looks more like a 125. So what I have here, what do you know? I have my bolts organized. They look close. Now what you can do is roll them against each other and if the threads roll in each other it's the same thread looks like it so we're gonna go with M8 by 1.25 the 40 millimeter there that's just the length. Now double check we can always take our bolt and thread it into the head before we go ahead and tap that a different size and what do you know threads in nice and easy actually better than the old bolt should probably replace these they've been on there for the life of the now this is a cheap set, you can pick this one up for about 20-25 bucks I think it was. Uh, they might snap on you, they're kind of like one use taps, but it gets you out of a jam when you need it. This side is metric, this side is SAE, or standard, and right here, it's M8 by 125, it's a little hard to read it, but that's it. If the threads on the bolt are cross-threaded, I would highly suggest getting new bolts. Uh, I would not suggest trying to re, uh, run a die down these because you might as well just go out and buy the dollar bolt or 60 cents at your hardware store. That's my little one. So we have to take our little T-handle, put the tap in there, and close the T-handle down. If you're not sure how far in you need to go with the tap, here's a little trick. Put the screwdriver in, put your thumbnail there, and that's how far you need to go. We take our old bolt out because it doesn't sit in there right. Take the top one off too. That one should be case two. Now you want this perfectly center. We're not really tapping, we're just kind of thread chasing. Might be a little difficult to get it started. You might have to work it back and forth a little bit when it starts getting gunked up. If you can see all the metal is sitting in those flutes, just kind of tap it off. Tap the tap off. And then start tapping again. Now it looks better, we don't know until we actually use a bolt to find out. We're going to do the top one just to tidy that one up. It's just the outside thread that was a little messed up.
Now, we can take our bolt, thread it in there. What do you know? It goes right in there now. Let's check the top one while we're here. There we go. I could barely undo that by hand before because it was so tight. Now I would advise before you clean all this up just to spray some air in there just so it gets all the metal shavings out of there. Now again, in some instances you're going to have to drill out the hole bigger if you can. Not all things you can drill out bigger and then you use what they call a helicoil. Helicoil is a little thread insert. You would drill the hole bigger, tap that hole, and then the thread insert would thread into it and allow it so it has a smaller thread again. So you could tap it to M10, 1.5, thread it in there, and then it became an M8 by 1.25 again. Uh, eventually, I will do a video on Healy coils just to show you guys what I'm talking about. This is how you fix a cross-threaded thread on a cylinder head. It's like a tongue twister, kind of. Not really. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like what we do, let us know and we'll make more videos. I like fixing threads and getting broken bolts out as much as I do working on cars. I felt like I haven't done a video on this in a little while. I was planning on doing the timing belt, but every time I do it, or every time I go to film, something comes up and somebody else's car breaks. So I'll see you guys later.